I don't want to go to the gym. I think that's great <laughs> that you don't want to go to the gym because there's a lot of dysfunction that happens at the gym. I don't want to and lift weights either. So That's okay. Are you okay with using your body mechanics to really feel amazing? Sure. Yeah. Awesome. So the best way to exercise is really developing up from function, which looks very different than what you would think of the typical workout session. So we would begin with you laying on your back and learning how to move your pelvis into a butt tucked under and then an arch position and then helping you to find a neutral position, which is what actually aligns your lower back. Easiest way to start getting pelvic alignment feel, lying down to learn this is really the best thing. So bend your knees. So just with a slight knee bend, you would tuck your butt under like this and then you would comfortably roll your back in the other direction. Anytime that you do motions like this or any motion, start with comfort. Don't try to force it into like max position. Just get a feel. All exercise should be feel and sensory perception first. So go ahead again, butt tuck, and then the other direction. And what you're doing here is you're feeling how far do I go one way? How far do I go the other way? So then after you become comfortable with that, somewhere in the neighborhood of five to 10 reps, then you'd find neutral. Neutral is going to be about halfway between your end back tilt and end forward tilt. So then you'd find neutral. So where your pelvis is kind of like flat like this. And if you're lying down, you can feel that the lower back stays touching the ground beneath you or the table beneath you. Once we do that, then we would work on your breathing mechanics with your pelvis in a neutral position so that we're training your tissues to maintain the pelvis in that alignment so that your back is healthy and your pelvis is neutral. Because you need the tissues that are supporting around this structure to function properly. And most people do not, even really fit people. So you wanna be able to have proper functionality in all these tissues, which starts with proper breathing mechanics. With breathing, one of the very common things that people do, go ahead and take a deep breath. And what most people will do is exactly what Alex just did, and that's chest breathing. So you expand your chest, that's normal, but it's not ideal. What you should be doing when you breathe is you should breathe in from your abdomen because you want the diaphragm to drop down and the abdomen to come out. And this is part of what we call diaphragmatic breathing. So when the diaphragm drops down, just like this tissue that's hanging here, when you breathe in, it contracts and it comes lower. And then when it comes lower, it clears space for your lungs to come down and expand. And then your pelvic floor tissues relax. That's what happens when you breathe in. So when you're allowing your abdomen to come out and you're breathing into your back, then you're opening more space for the diaphragm to drop down. And then when you exhale, those tissues are coming back in. So you're getting proper elongation and shortening of those tissues. When you exhale, diaphragm comes back up lungs expire the air and also these tissues become supportive of your spine so now you have better stability of your spine and a healthier spine as well so you breathe in deep allow the lower abdomen to come out and allow the lower back to go into the table and then when you exhale have the opposite happen abdomen comes in you actually start to contract like a kegel but you're basically contracting the tissues like you need to urinate before you get to the bathroom. When you exhale, you should get a moderate stopping peeing from happening feeling. Your abdomen should draw in on the exhale. Exhale, slight little butt tuck, just a couple degrees, like just very faint. That's what should happen on exhale. And you also feel your spine go long. So comfortably tuck, tuck the chin and then elongate your spine on the exhale. Breathe in big, abdomen comes out, lower back comes into the table, and then exhale. When you start to get good at finding neutral pelvis and proper breathing, stand up and do it. That would be your progression. And so it's actually these things that originate body functionality and positioning. And so that's the reason why I said, hey, it's great that you don't wanna to go to the gym because the gym gets you focused on a bunch of stuff that's not that type of thinking. It gets you focused externally. And as we learned, it's really best to focus internally for your exercise. Once you learn proper breathing and positioning of pelvis, we would stay from the floor and start working into, for example, like a hip raise exercise 
exercise, lifting your butt up, because now you're using your butt muscles to activate, which is one of the most important things around your lower body. And you would be keeping neutral pelvis because you learned how to do that and you'd be applying proper breathing. So now you're doing that. Now you would start to be ready for something like a squat. And now with the activation that you felt from the butt, proper breathing mechanics and neutral pelvis, when you do a squat, you'd actually be able to tie all those things together. The body has this kind of mechanical buildup on every aspect of it. And when you start doing exercise like this, it drastically changes your functionality.